Welcome back to the tea of the day. Today I've got a brand new herb that I got from my herb garden. It's called mint berries and cream. Ooh, sounds tasty. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it's interesting because I gave this guy a full nine minutes. Nine minutes to brew. I think um, and maybe I could have used a couple more leaves because it's not very strong. And mint usually can get reasonably strong when you have it as a tea. So uh, in that sense, it's a little surprising, but the taste is great. <laughs> I have no problem at all with this taste. This is wonderful. Am I getting a berries and cream kind of feeling? I kind of think I am. I mean, it's not very strong, like you, you're sitting there and tasting fruit, and um, but you definitely kind of get that interesting sense of a creamy action along with the mint. It's, it's, it's hard to explain exactly, but I mean, it's, it's kind of like it says on the tin. Yeah, it's 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 really nice. It's uh, in some ways I'd say it's a little smoother, and um, that's what makes it more that creamy kind of feel. That it's just a smooth action, as compared to regular mints, which can be very much like Koja! mint. So uh, yeah, I like the difference. Um, as compared to like the apple mint, which was also a little smoother, but the the didn't say what it did on the tin. It didn't say apple to me. When I used it with other things, it ended up tasting great and was good as an accent flavor, but this one stands up well on its own, which is very nice. So I'm very happy about that. Yep, mint berries and cream. It's very tasty. Give it a shot. Everybody have a happy tea day.